Hey you guys, in this video, I hope you're gonna feel like I'm just talking to you like you're my friend asking me for help with your students' math homework. Maybe they brought something home that looks like this and they are supposed to write this number from a place value chart in standard form, expanded form, and word form. So let's talk about what those are. Standard form is just how we normally see numbers. We don't see on our bank statements a little chart like this, right? This place value chart is to help our students understand what, what each of these places mean, but that's not how we see numbers in the real world. Oh my gosh, in the real world. <laughs> We see them in standard form. So standard form is just how you are used to seeing numbers. 723,129. We break them up in these sets of three, correct? So that is what standard form is. Expanded form is breaking them apart by place value. If your student is still kind of struggling with place value, I'll link a video for you in the corner you can go check out. But this chart really helps us understand what the place value is. This seven means I have seven hundred thousands, which I would write as seven hundred thousand. Plus, this two means I have two ten thousands, which I would also write as twenty thousand. This three means I have three thousands, which I would write as three thousand. This one means I have one hundred. The two means I have two tens, which we write as twenty and nine ones. That is expanded form. You're writing out each number according to its place value, adding them all together. All right. Now word form, you probably guessed, this is writing out what the number is if I were to say it out loud, which I know can be kind of annoying to write it out. <laughs> but hopefully it'll help our students understand how to say these big numbers, all right? If they are having a hard time with that, these ones on top can help. So for example, after I say this number, 723, I say what period it is, 723,129. Now we don't say one, but that is the ones period, all right? If this were to be bigger, it would be the millions period. So it would be like 254,723,129. Your student's probably not to that point yet, so we're just sticking with the thousands. So we are going to write this as 723,129. So there is the word form. Let's go ahead and do one more example because they're going to probably start introducing some zeros to try and help you understand what it means when there's a zero in our number, all right? So standard form of this is how we are just used to seeing numbers in the everyday world where we group them by threes. So five, zero, three, comma, four, one, nine. There is my standard form. Expanded form, we are breaking it up by place value. So the five means 500,000. And now that we have that zero there, I don't need to write plus zero. I just skip over it. So we don't have any 10 thousands. So next I'm just going to add the 3,000. Four hundreds, so 400. One ten, so we write that as 10 and one nine, or nine ones, I should say. <laughs> nine ones. So there is my expanded, expanded form. Now for word form, we are going to say 503,419. All right, so there is my word form of that number. All right, you might be thinking, why does my student need to use to learn this? 
Well, a lot of this is stuff they're going to use in the real world, right? For us, it might seem easy, but we had to learn it at some point. And that's what your student is doing. Now, if there's something I missed that's in your student's homework that you're needing help with, leave a comment below and I will try to answer that question for you. Thanks.